Hey guys, AJ here from 3D Printing Systems. I have a real simple project for you today to do on your Emblazer 2. We're going to be doing a Spirograph. It's going to be a perfect project to get you used to using the software for the Emblazer 2 and doing your first laser cut. Let's get started. Now before we start the project, make sure you've connected your Emblazer 2, power it on and enable the laser. Alright, so using the software, all we're going to do is load our file and put in our settings. Okay, so making sure you're on the file tab, we'll click add document and then we'll find our Spirograph SVG. Now again, the link will be in the description below. Selecting the Spirograph SVG and we can see that it's appeared on our work pane. Alright, now from here we want to move it into the center. Okay, so we need to click on the file name and that will select the file. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can either click and drag and there's the center or if we wanted to be more precise we could type in the values that we want. So for this one that would be 250 and 150 for the X and Y. Now that we've centered our file we can add the setting. All right, so with it still selected and highlighted we'll click create single operation okay now a bunch of settings will come up but don't worry for this project we're just going to use the preset material profile to do that we'll click on the green wand here All right. now we're just going to scroll down to plywood and we'll find three more plywood now if we click on this you can see all of the different settings All right, that three more plywood is going to use Okay, if we click on the green arrow here, that's going to load those settings. Now we'll just go down and double check them. So laser power 100%, two passes, start height 1.5, and cut rate 200 with air assist on. Now just going back to the start rate, now because we're using the rubber mats, we're going to need to add 10 mils to this. Alright, so it's got 1.5, let's change that to 11.5. And now those are our settings done. Nice and easy, real simple. Cool. Right. Once we've made sure we've got all that, we can just click Generate G-Code. This will just take a second because this is a relatively small file. And there are G-Codes generated. Perfect. Now all we have to do is go to the Control Panel, select Run, and start our job. Now that we've finished cutting our spirograph, we can start to remove the pieces. All right, so we've got the big central piece here. This part we'll need to do our spirograph design. All right, this part on the outside is just an offcut, so we can get rid of that. Pop that out there. And now we're left with the center. All right, we've got these little dots where you put your pen to do the spirograph. Now I've got a pen, nice and handy. I'm just gonna use the end of that to poke out the holes. Once we've poked out and discarded the holes, there we have it. Spirograph, ready to use. Well that's all from me today guys, let me know what future projects you want to see in the comments below, don't forget to like this video, share it and I'll see you next time. With the spirograph cut out, insert your pen into one of the holes, hold the spirograph steady and start drawing.